Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm one of the product designers at KiwiCo. We create science and art projects for you to build at home. I work on the Tinker Crate line, which explores awesome engineering projects like this one, the Tinker Crate rubber band race car. If you drove a race car to school, you'd never be late. A race car's engine is up to four times as powerful as a regular car's, but that's not the only secret to speed. There are a lot of other engineering tricks that make a race car zoom. Race cars are built using the lightest materials possible. That's because lighter objects take less energy to move. Think about it this way. What's easier to throw fast, a tennis ball or a bowling ball? Race cars are also designed to be aerodynamic. That means they can slice through the air like an airplane. Their unique shape sends air up and over the body. The force of the air pushes the car down so it doesn't fly off the track. A lot of race cars also have spoilers or wings to help control airflow. Those special features combined with custom tires give race cars the grip they need to speed around the track. We wanted to design the Tinker Crate rubber band race car utilizing the same engineering tricks as a real life race car. So we laser cut sleek pieces of wood for the frame of the car to give it structure, but keep it light. The pieces connect using plastic hardware since it's not as heavy as metal hardware. The outside of the car is made out of paper and designed to create a snug aerodynamic shell. We also added a spoiler because it not only looks cool, but it helps the car go faster. Since we couldn't fit a car engine in our KiwiCo crate, we had to think of another way to make our race car go. So we attached a rubber band to the back axle, which is the bar that connects the wheels. When you pull the rubber band tighter and tighter, it stores up energy in the elastic. So when you let her rip, the car uses that energy to zoom forward. Unlike the rubber band race car, a real life race car needs a whole team of people to get moving. Our friends at Peretta Autosport have racing down to a science. On race day, the driver takes the wheel. She not only has to control the car, but she also has to communicate its performance with the race engineer. That's some serious multitasking. The race engineer is like the captain or coach. They get feedback from the driver and then decide what changes to make. There's also the data engineer. She measures the car's performance so the team has the information they need to make the car go faster. Then there's the spotter. She sits high above the track to monitor the race and warn the driver of any surprises ahead. And finally, there's the pit crew. When the driver makes a pit stop, the pit crew runs in to change the tires, refill the gas, and make any adjustments needed in less than six seconds. That's less time than it took me to explain what a pit crew is. With the Tinker Crate rubber band race car, you get to be the entire racing team, from the driver to the pit crew. We designed it so you can experiment with different engineering tricks to customize your car. If you build your own rubber band race car at home, let us know how you engineered it. And next time you see a real life race car reach high speeds, make sure to look out for all the engineering tricks that make it happen. For more awesome engineering projects, go to kiwico.com.